Hello my YouTube friends, welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I just want to teach you on how you can detail a staircase that you are seeing here. So from here you see the staircase is reinforced, is placed with reinforcement as you can see and I'm done with this design and the next thing is for me now to start detailing and this is what I want to show you in this lesson so that you can learn on how to detail your stairs. Now. What I'm doing in this lesson is something like this. You see that we have the river. Some of the river has been hidden. It's still the same stair and we have different tags here. And you see on how, which tags you can use and how you can place your tags and make some few edits here and there. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please don't just watch my videos. If I see that a lot of people are subscribing and also like my videos, the channel will grow and that way to motivate me to do even more and more if possible. A tutorial each and every day because i'll see that people like what i'm doing so now i don't want to waste much of your time maybe let's proceed and get started in this lesson so what i'm going to do i'll go back to my 3d view as i've said we are using the river on the staircase and I will just open one of these, this is the floor plan, and I just want to cut a section. So that is the first step, you need to cut a section and now see what is there. You can do that by just going to view, then click on section. From here, just make sure that you pick detail section. I can pick this one, if I pick this one, I can just click the first point and the second point and I can just reduce the extents up to here. I'll just, you know, delete this one. Okay. And show that I have another tag there. I mean a section there. Click on section. Let me pick a different one. This one. And let me just cut it from this point up to this point. And I think I'll leave it somewhere there. And I can open this section by double clicking the head. And what I'll do is to simply expand the box like that so that I can see my stair. And this is what you're supposed to do. And now I'll just start hiding things that you don't want to see. For example, this one, HH on my keyboard, I can do that. What else do I need to hide? Maybe this one, HH on your keyboard for hiding. You are going to make the, the, the what we are hiding as permanent. So just wait to see what to do. This is a shortcut, HH on your keyboard. You'll be working so fast. Is there anything that I need to hide? Maybe this one HH on my keyboard. It's hidden. And I can select that one and simply drag it closer. Select this and drag it closer somewhere there so that my detail can start looking better. I'll activate the end there and I'll select this one. You know, turn off the, you know, the part, the lock there, just click there. Then you're able to move just this one so that it ends there and you can deactivate, you know, that at the end, as you can see, so it looks nice. I'll click there and just drag it closer. And you see that my detail is now getting better and better. I think I'm okay with what I'm seeing. Now, what I need to do is to simply go somewhere there and click. Okay, we have this two down there with some some sort of some sunglasses or whatever. Just click now, apply, hide, isolate. Now you have made permanent what we are trying to hide. Now, all I need to do is to change this one to fine level of detail. I think it looks okay, as you can see. All I need to do now is to proceed with my detailing as you are going to see. All right, so I'll start from here. For those who hide some bars within here because you don't want your detail to look so complicated, should be easy to read. All I need to do is to select maybe the bars from there up to there. I'll simply go there and just show two bars so you can see that I'm just showing this bar and that bar. I'll do the same and hide some of the bars there by just clicking there, then just show two bars and I'll continue for all the bars in section to just show my two bars. I can click there, then select this one and I have to finish all the bars in section to ensure that I'm just showing the two bars. All right, so this one, and you can see that once you just finish the modeling in Revit, detailing becomes easier and the goodness is that whether the, the engineer or the one doing the design changes, the sizes and everything, the spacing, in a matter of seconds, we're able to change all these. And like in AutoCAD, you need to spend a bit of time to start changing all these things. But with here, 
it's a click of a button and you can change, you know, massive, massive drawings, you know, in some few minutes. So I've hidden those bars. So now what I need to do is to start now, you know, adding the annotations. I'll start with this one here, or maybe let me start with those in section like this one there. So I'll just go to annotate. And this time we are going to use multi-reba annotation. I'll just make sure that I select from my here. This is a sexual reba. I've just customized these things. So you are able to do that. You can even use your default, you know, tags. You can do that. I'll select on that. And I just want to make sure that the leader is not selected. And I'll just place it there. And I can have my bar. You can see that it looks neat. All right. I'll go to this one. Make sure that the leader is not selected. I just want to have it there. I can place it there. I'll continue until I finish all these bars. As you can see, it's so easy to do. Select that one. I think this one can go at the bottom just like that. So the most important thing in Revit is to just make sure that you understand, you know, what you have in your office. Once you understand, you know, just produce one drawing with the correct tags and save everything within your template. Then the next time you start doing your drawings, you know, you'll even be smiling as you, you know, produce your details. So I just want to finish all these. As you can see, it's just clicking one point and the other. And you can see that I have all these tags, as you can see. All right. So I think I'm done with this. Then I'll go to annotate. Then I'll go to tag by category because now I have to tag this one, which is not in, it's, it's, it's not like cut in section. It's like a riba in elevation. So for this one, I need a leader. You can see that if I hover my cursor there, I'm able to select this one. Again, just make sure that you pick the correct tag. I'll show you what is contained in this tag to just give you an idea. I'll cancel. For this one, if I just click on it, all right, make sure that because you want this to, to be parallel to, to the bar there. So one tip I have to show you is that you just need to go to these two here, like under horizontal or vertical and change it to change it to model. All right. So once you do that, you can see that now you can even change the angle orientation model angle. That is the angle there. So this one is at 30 degrees. You can, you know, put any angle there. If you want to rotate this one, once you put it on model, for example, if I want to rotate it, I can just go to rotate. This way you're able to rotate it in any direction. And you see that the angle keeps on changing. So this is a very, very important trick. If you don't know, you know, you don't know about this, make sure that you make use of this, change to this one and you are able to rotate. If you don't do that, you will not be able to rotate it. So I'll place it there and simply drag it like that, an elbow. Then I can even push it there. You can see that it looks neat. All right. If maybe it doesn't seem to be so parallel there, I can still select there and maybe I'll click there and just move it a bit by one degree. It's almost there. Now I can continue doing that by selecting on that. Right click, you know, create similar. And this one is done. I can continue and, you know, place it there, just drag it where I want it to be, maybe up to somewhere there. Now, remember to change it to that one. And you can see that I can even move it there. And, you know, it's so flexible. And as you move it, you know, it's very, very easy. I'll right click and create similar. Can I do that? I think I can still go to annotate there and I'll continue with this one, maybe I want to also to, you know, to put a, an annotation there. Model is okay. Leader is okay. So I'll just need to do this. All right. Why is, oh, this one, I have to rotate it again. All right. Right click, select this one. And is it on model? Yes, correct. I can select that one. I'll do like that and i just have to make sure that it's almost I'm, I'm looking at the line there and once i see that it's parallel to that tree i can just click there then this can just be moved and you know this should be so easy for you you can bring it back you can get you know take it closer there you can see that my my tag is right there I can click there I just check everything is okay select there right click create similar which bars do we have i think this one is a different bar all right, you can put the cursor there and tab. If you are not able to select it, just press tab, click there. I want this one to be below. All right, then just drag it there. All 
all right you can see that because the angles are different this one is at a different angle so you still need to now rotate this one make sure that it's on model and you can still rotate it right let me just cancel from here select this one rotate and i want first of all to lay that line parallel to the tag and then i can move it while watching this you know the the, the tag uh, the uh the river there so that once i click there it's parallel as you can see so this is a tip that you have to to use even when you are doing that all right so let me select this one right click okay create similar you know the procedure once again is the same if i just want to maintain this one as a straight line again it's entirely up to you don't have to you know to to rotate it if that's what you want you can just uh, place it the way it is i'm sure it's readable the whole purpose is for you to produce a drawing which is readable so even if it's not like that but you see this one needs to be rotated because it's at an angle so i'll do this all right and let me select this one maybe if i just check it there do like that start model then i can click on rotate first of all i just have to select this one then rotate first of all make sure that is parallel to this one and i have to make sure that again it's horizontal you can see i have it there and you can just push it there something that you can easily do just like that all right so i'll just double click the head i think it's okay then i can drag it and i can go in and on and finish all these details now there's one thing i want to mention here if you you see that some of the river is seems to be overlapping but really you are able to read it like that there are those who do by if i just select on this let me let me show you something because sometimes you just want to show you know uh, uh and uh, at the end there as if you know something like uh, there's a specific term that is used where you have to show to show that this bar is ending up to somewhere here you can use a line or some of some people that i've seen are able just to model this one and you know edit the river by doing this first before i do that let me check this one the bar mark is zero one so i'll go there and click on edit others i've seen others just do it by just you know editing this one and just putting you know that one there the bar ends of, of course i've remembered now these are called i think bar ends if i'm not mistaken others will do that but there's a challenge remember this one is bar mark zero one if i click on finish okay the bar mark is not changing that's okay it's because i changed the the properties but the challenge with this if i select on this one let me just undo i want to check i want to check that what is the shape code for this one let me just check it there you see that this is shape code 62 all right sometimes if i just select there click on edit there i don't want the bar mark to change and also the shape code because that one is just used to show that you have riba there so i'll select on that click there and let me just add you know that one there then click on finish okay shape code the the, the, the bar mark is okay but you can see that the shape code now has changed to 48 so this is the challenge with doing this so i want to show you a better option because you don't want you know because this is just used for the purpose of showing that the bar is terminating here it's ending here so that the one reading is not lost of course if you know how to read you don't even need to do this people are able to read but there are those who want to do exactly what other you know softwares you know do like autocad what you have to understand that different softwares have, have have different advantages and disadvantages but this is not a disadvantage because we have a tool we have an option that has been implemented in revit if you really want to show that you can select on the bar and we have an option called displacement elements i can select on that and i can now use this to to move my riba so that i can now see it from there if i just move it up okay you can see that now someone can read because i'm just able to to move it like that and someone can read that okay there's a bar somewhere there so make sure that you use this tool than just adding you know that bar in there because it's going to disturb sometimes even the bar mark it will disturb it it will also change the the shape code and you don't want to do that because you want to maintain the standard shape codes the way you are going to construct it on site so the other thing if i also want to move this one let me just show you some more if i select on that displacement but set, i can still just move it down there so that it's readable all right i can even move it there 
All right, but what you have to understand is that within the 3D model, nothing is changing. It's just something which is graphical to help you, you know, uh, with, you know, understanding your drawing. So this is what you can do. Now, what I want to show you is now how you can change the colors. You see that if I go to this detail, we have some colors there. That's what you want to do once again. You can just go to visibility graphics. Then I'll just go to structure riba there and... I just want to find my structural riba. You can search from there if you want. Okay. From there so that if you have a number of things, you are just able to search. Okay. This is the structural riba. Now what I want is to change the projection under the patterns there. I can click and change my color maybe to red if that's what I want. Apply. Okay, apply. Okay, and you can see that my riba has changed. So you can go in, on and on. If I just want to change maybe the scale to one to maybe 125, it looks better. But once you change the scale now, you can just go ahead and just, you know, adjust a bit some of the, you know, because sometimes once you change, especially, you know, these elbows will be disturbed a bit. But you can just quickly go there and just check it and just click by the by the elbow there and just try to to move it a bit and you'll be good to go okay the one which is straight doesn't get disturbed sometimes i prefer just you know putting a straight one because the elbow sometimes will misbehave once you change the scale okay if there's someone who knows how to fix this so that you know the elbow doesn't move please you can comment there we are all learning here. There are still a lot of things that all of us have to learn as we keep on going and uh, on and on. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe and see you in some more upcoming lessons.